I'm Sarah from Boaton, New Zealand. Alan Wright's name has been synonymous with Powercats for many years, but it's been a while since we've seen a new boat launched. This Wright 46S sedan style Powercat has been built off moulds that have been in storage for a while, but have now found new life in this beautiful new boat. I'm here with Calvin Kay of K2 Marine who built this beautiful boat, just to have a talk about how it came into being. So Calvin, what's the genesis of this boat? How long have you had the moulds? Um, we've had the moulds for about 14 years. Um, they sat at my father's farm for about seven of those and uh, Dad said to me, you've got to use them or I'll get rid of them. So we thought we'd better build a boat. So we started building one and we've ended up now with four of them. It's fantastic. And so you've worked with the original designer, Alan Wright, on bringing this design back to life. Yeah, Alan's a great guy. He's a fantastic designer and, um, and we went to him and, and asked if we could uh, use his name and, and continue that legacy on. So uh, he said, yeah, sure. And, uh, bought some rights off them and away we go. Hmm. And so what do you think it is about this boat that, that has proven so popular both originally and then and now into a new generation? I think it was originally designed um, to be a very stable camera boat for the America's Cup um, and then uh, you know we've sort of evolved it from there into what it is today. Um, it definitely it's, it's, it's designed for Kiwi waters and it works really well in those waters and that's, uh, that's the beauty and it's got great lines. The owners of this new boat started out looking for something to be a fishing platform to go away with mates, but then some wives got involved and as you'll see it's turned out to be something a bit more luxurious than that. As you can see she's well set up for fishing with these rod holders across the back and this custom built bait station. In here we've got a kill bin, a live bait tank, more rod holders, storage space and of course a beer fridge. Under the cockpit is the pair of Yanmar 440 horsepower diesels. Because of the catamaran design, the boat is highly fuel efficient, and that's something the owners were really looking for. At a fast cruising speed of around 24 knots, she's using about 71 litres an hour per side, so around 142 litres. At a slightly more sedate 20 knots, she's only using about 80 litres an hour combined. The boat has a top speed of around 27 and a half knots. Built into the extended cockpit roof is this custom rod locker. So this is not just a boat for fishing, there's plenty of space for entertaining too. There's two L-shaped seating areas here at the front of the cockpit and plenty of space for people to gather. The cockpit roof has been extended to allow plenty of shade for this area. There are steps up both sides to move forward onto the bow and if we go up here too we can see the giant solar panels up here which are powering this whole boat. These two large solar panels are recessed into the roof and together they provide enough power to keep the whole boat running just on battery power. Of course one of the other advantages of having a power cat is this huge deck space that it creates and there's plenty of room up here on the bow for relaxing in the sunshine. There's plenty of indoor outdoor flow although this area can be closed up with this fold down window and the pocket door. Stepping inside we can really see where that feminine touch has come in. Not really a fishing boat is it? We've got this large seating area here, galley kitchen this side with a four burner stove. There's also plenty more refrigeration here under bench as well as a freezer under the seats in the cockpit. The table folds out so there's plenty of room for a group to sit around. Moving forward there's access here on both sides to the accommodation in the hulls but here is the helm station centrally positioned with a couple of very racy style seats, large Garmin touchscreen and the controls for the C-Zone system which run the electronic system for this boat. The C-Zone acts as an electronic switch panel so instead of having all the wires coming to one place there are four locations around the boat and it's all controlled from this one central panel. There are preset systems, entertaining day, entertaining night cruising day and night and at the dock so with a touch of a button the appropriate lights and electronics are switched on and off. From this elevated central helm position we've got great visibility all around and there's a great seating area right here next to the helm so the driver can be kept company as we cruise. There's also another handy drinks fridge here. The catamaran layout allows for some flexibility in how you want to arrange the berths. In this particular boat there are a cabin and a head in the starboard 
hull and two cabins in the port hull. Because the owner wants to go away fishing with his mates and they don't want to have to share a double, most of the berths are single. There's plenty of space here in the head with excellent headroom and a walk-in shower. This is Cam Harris from Beacon Marine who was involved with the electrical design and installation. This boat's quite a, got quite an amazing system in terms of the solar panels. What can you tell me about how they power the boat? Uh, so the customers wanted to be able to run the boat without a generator running away in the background all the time. We have Mastervolt Generation 3 lithiums on board which stores all the energy. So the solar puts all the power into the batteries which runs all the electrical systems on board. Um, energy efficient lighting, a reasonably large array of solar. Uh, so the boat can sit on anchor for several days without having to start the engines. Can you tell me about how the sea zone system works for this boat too? So we've got modules down in all four corners of the boat. So instead of having all of the cabling for the whole vessel running back to one central location, it's split up into areas so it simplifies the cable runs, minimises the amount of cable into the boat and gives the client the ability to push one button and have everything turn on or off as for how they're using the boat for whether it be sitting at anchor or motoring. It does all the thought for you. It's great to see a Kiwi designed and built boat going in the water. That's also showcasing some of the best of Kiwi technology like that sea zone system. Because the boat's been built here, the owners have been really able to work closely with the builders to get exactly the boat they want, that combination of both fishing and cruising comfort. And I'm sure it will give them a lot of pleasure this summer. John Ankleson from Boating New Zealand. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe to our channel.